Praise God, praise God. This, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him praise. Give him honor all the days of your life. Come on up here. I'm going to stick and move. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Um, if you see my title, it says, They are preparing you for persecution, said the Lord. So I have some things that I want to talk to you about. Praise God, praise God. Go ahead and press tag, share. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I pray that you guys are actually, um, excuse me, I, I pray that you are doing well on the fast. Don't give up. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a mind thing. Well, come on, somebody. I, you notice when you come into the body of Christ, the first thing God says is renew your mind. Your mind. I will keep you in perfect peace. Those that keep their mind stayed on me. So doing this fast, you're going to have to keep your mind stayed on God. You're going to have to read. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to walk. You're going to have to do something because the enemy is going to try to bring food, uh, everything that you think you, you want to eat. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Notice the full liquid fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and give you my scriptures. Um, th this is going to be a deep one. They all are. Praise God. Hallelujah. So one of the things, all this killing, <laughs> Lord, help me walk this thing through. Because one thing I've noticed God says is that I got to start with what he said to say. The word 365 times fear is in the Bible. I'm going to say it again. The word fear is 365 times. What am I saying? The enemy has got most people in fear. Into what you don't even want to serve God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Are you scared? Can I tell you something? Everybody that's in the sound of my voice, you're going to have to choose. What side you on, said the Lord. And let me tell you what God say, honey. Oh, honey, let me tell you something. You ain't going to be able to get an excuse about, well, you know, this one did that. Or that one did that. Or, or I wasn't ready, God. I'm just letting you know. Are you really prepared? Come on, somebody. Let me walk this thing out. Because um, all this execution, and that's what's happening. We're going back in slavery days. I've been saying this for six to seven years, and now everybody's catching on. I've been telling y'all it's a pharaoh system. When God first started talking to me, I'm talking about 2009, 10, 11, and I started saying these things even against the last president. Everybody thought I was crazy. A lot of people came against me. A lot of people said, oh, my God. But I knew I had to stick with what God's saying. But I want you to know, everybody that said I was come to me now, apostle, you know, you were telling the truth. I, I felt like Noah. I know I'm not Noah. Don't get it twisted. But I felt like Noah. I said, Lord, these people not believe in me. But I had to keep saying what thus said the Lord. And I'm about to say some things now. You don't hear what I'm saying. All those killings, they are conditioning you for persecution, said the Lord. You see, over there is already doing it. They're already cutting off heads and doing all kind of stuff, taking the Bibles, killing people, Africa, China. Come on, somebody. Y'all just having a good time in America for now. God said they're conditioning you. Oh, Lord, I'm going to have to walk this thing out because some of y'all ain't going to believe it. But I always say go to the spirit of God. But the people of God, when they hear something, they'll feel it in their spirit. Do y'all think that that Dallas cop of Fort Worth killed that young lady just on accident? They've been profiling for so long. Hold on. I'm not just talking about racial profiling. They are playing chess because they need that gun law to drop. These are hits. Oh, I'm about to tell y'all something. These are not normal cops doing this. See, a normal cop, they scared just like you scared. Come on, somebody. They ain't trying to pull no trigger. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all remember where I used to work at FBI. I know what I'm talking about. We used to train them. They scared to pull a trigger. But the assassins, we're talking about the elite in the FBI, the elite in the CIA. They, they, got, they got a whole team that that's all they do is kill people. But it's for the betterment of the country. See them bad boys? They ain't got no feelings. They will shoot you and think nothing of it because it's an assignment. Mm. So y'all thinking these regular cops, y'all don't understand what's happening here. Anytime a, shop, a, a cop can shoot you in cold blood and not even flinch, and that's what has been happening. These are hits because they're preparing y'all for martial law. They're preparing y'all for new world order. They're preparing you for persecution, said the Lord. And I know I have to give some heart. I wasn't even trying to get up on here because this is the last day of our class. I was trying to prepare for class. God said, you got to tell them. 
And, and sometimes I'm like, God, do I have to say that? Do I have to say it? But I'm too scared not to say it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But let me read this scripture and you're going to understand what I'm saying because he gave me the scripture to tell y'all. Revelations, and I want y'all, everybody that's in the sound of my voice and everybody that will listen, I challenge you to go in, a, in your quiet place when you have time and just kind of meditate on this scripture right here that I'm getting ready to, to roll out. Revelation 6, 11 says, and white robes. That's why I'm always in white. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this because I don't think anybody else have told y'all. I don't know who started with the color robes and this and that. But God I've always asked his ministers to be in white. I don't know who started the little black thing right here. I, I, I'm, I ain't going to get off the subject. I'm just saying. All these different, I don't know what y'all doing, but praise the Lord, whatever, black robed. All right. Revelation 6, 11, and white robes were given unto every one of them. Listen, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until they fellow servants also, fellow servants and their brethren, these people that are not in the clergy, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. I'm going to have to read that again because some of you ain't, I don't know if it's registered. Let me go slowly. King James Bible, Revelation 6, 11 says, And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants, that's us, also and their brethren, brethren means men, women, child, whatever, that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Now let me go to the next one. Hold on. Y'all going to catch it in about a minute. And I know y'all don't like it because who, who likes it, right? Okay, then Revelation 12. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. Was there not a great earthquake lately? Haven't been a lot of them lately, huh? Hold on. The sun turned back south clap. Made of goat hair, the whole moon turned blood red. Y'all know we've been having those blood moons, right? Okay. The signs of the times. Let me tell you something. If you'd have told me this 20, yeah. Pretty much because I'm just 51. I started when I was 27. If you'd have told me this 20 years ago that I'd be watching and I'd be part of what's going on, I'd have told you you was lying. I'd have told you to get from by me and God knows I probably would have cursed you. I'm just being real with you. But now that I know who I am and whose I am, I'm telling you, people of God, you better get ready. I'm not saying wait to get ready, but you better get ready and your mind better be ready first. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because they're already installing fear. That's why y'all see all this stuff happening. Some of this stuff is, 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 is how could I say it, it's orchestrated. It, it's supposed to scare you. Because guess what? When they take over, they don't want nobody to fight. And, and here's the deal. They're focusing on the black culture. That's who getting executed the most. But can I tell you? They execute every different nationality. When martial law hit, it's going to be like a holocaust. And here's the deal. You ain't got enough money to be on their side. Oh, I'm about to go somewhere. God said, woe to the brethren that sell out the other brethren. I'm telling you what God said. Because some of y'all doing some strange things for some for that change. I had, oh, Lord, I don't even want to say that. I told y'all they got two files on every fall runner. Like for me, I'm going I'm to I'm put myself on blast. Y'all know I had a bad past for the last 23 years. I, I mean, I've been clean, but before that... Now, I probably did it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never killed nobody, but I probably did it. They got two files. So this is how they do. They'll go to your friends or your family, and they will bring a, a, a legit FBI file. It'll be a legit FBI agent. And they say, look, they've been doing this activity that's that's not right. You understand? And, and people get scared, and they take that money. I know y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all understand what I'm saying? God says, woe unto you that do such things. Y'all ain't ready for me. They know not to come to me with nothing. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. How do I prepare, apostle? What do I do? You get in your word like never before. Stop touching the unclean thing. Stop doing like Sodom and Gomorrah. We're going to just have fun till it hit. Yeah, I said it because that's how most of you thinking. We're going to just ride this thing till, it just, till we can't ride it no more. Honey, you will not be prepared. You would not be prepared. And a lot of people, if y'all don't see, it's already being ushered in. That's the stuff that's going on with Kanye. Y'all understand? That? And that man has no life. Y'all see how y'all see the light in my eyes? I challenge every last one of you look for some light in his eyes. 
Y'all ain't ready for me because y'all playing with the right one, baby. Because I carry the spirit of God. I know what I see because I'm going to ask God. Let me tell y'all something. I don't ever just come against nobody. That's not the spirit of God. But if it's not God, it ain't God. Hallelujah. Nobody playing up in here. Our lives are at stake. Ain't nobody playing. Souls are at stake. That's what it's about. Ain't nobody worried about no mansion, no money, no man, no woman. It's souls that God is worried about. And people are dying without God. And God is not pleased. Now, that's the, that's the moral of this whole post. God is not pleased. We sitting up there watching them die. Hallelujah. Scared to talk to people if they ain't got no money. Yeah, I said it. Don't want to witness to nobody if they smell bad. Yeah, I said it. Don't want nobody in your church if they've been um, prostituting all night. Start to say the other word. Yeah, I start to say the other word. Who did Jesus come to save? He said, I've came to save that which was lost. Y'all sitting up in church and lost just like I don't know what. Because guess what? Satan can't cast out Satan. And most of y'all, I ain't trying to be funny. You ain't got no power. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So sitting in your little church, you ain't got no power. Not no real power power to talk and gossip but you got no power because the power of God to tell you pray for that person the power of God to tell you stop playing the power of God to tell you the signs of the times the power of God will tell you this is not the time to play my God if y'all could see what I see if y'all could see what I see ain't nobody trying to scare you I'm telling y'all get ready them people here they not coming they here I told the class and I'm going to tell y'all you want to know I'm going to show you how Go to Amazon. Everybody been ordering Amazon. I like you finna order something. I'll order something and, and go down to your state. But go all the way down to Washington State. I want you to see all them armed forces. Which, this is what we did in our class, in our prophetic class. I asked them to give them the definition of uh, martial law. You know what they say? Military. Armed first forces. Now, I knew this, but I wanted them to know it. And now I'm letting y'all know it. Just, just act like you're ordering stuff from Amazon. And you'll see African forces, Malaysian forces, Russian forces. What they doing here? <laughs> oh, I'm just being real. So I got to go. But God bless you. God keep you. And not trying to be a doom and gloom prophet. Hallelujah. Which I've been called. I'm just trying to tell y'all prepare. Jesus is coming. But before Jesus is coming, it's going to be topsy turvy. It's going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. It's going to be bad. And God is allowing it. Because truth be told, oh God, he got me going here, y'all. What is worship? He want me to ask y'all, what is worship? God said you are worshiping the creation more than the creator. Y'all worship money, homes, a man, Hollywood, idol, idol worship. I used to do it too, so look, ain't nobody trying to bash on y'all. Let me tell you something. I did it. I sat from a little town, Abbeville, Louisiana, with nothing because we ain't got nothing. I'm just being real with you. Ain't nothing there, just family. And you can't make no money there unless you're doing drugs or, own, or, or, or selling it. Let's be real. But I did it. I went to L.A., and, and I'm going to be real with you. It hurt my heart. I was like, and, and when God asked me, he said, this what you want? I realized that's not what I want. These people sleep with each other. These people, what they don't do. Y'all think it's a game? And they worship Satan and Mother Earth. <laughs> Think it's a game? People not playing. They drink blood. They kill babies. They eat babies. You know how they stay youth looking? They be letting y'all y'all think it's Botox. It ain't Botox. They take blood baths. And, and I'm, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just being, I got to tell the truth up in here. They take blood baths. And they do their rituals. And believe it or not, the devil gives them the um, spirit of youth skin. Y'all think I'm Botox. Ain't no Botox. The spells, the stuff real. And when I got there and saw all that, I was so disappointed. I said, "This, this, this is what we, this will be, this will be after." And to be honest with you, most Christians are after it too. God said, "Ooh, he not playing. He not playing." I gotta say this before I get off it. Thank you, Jesus. Gospel music. He said, "Unless it is about him, it ain't gospel music." Mm. Y'all ain't ready for me. We were made to worship God. Hallelujah. And only God. Who you worshiping? What you worshiping? What idol? That's why I stopped worshiping. I, I used to, I, I used to be, I'm telling you, I used to do it all. Oh yes, I'm talking about them stars. I'll be thinking I can go meet them. And, and when I met them, I'm being honest with you, they were drawn to me. I wasn't drawn to them. 
And, and I guess they liked me because I was country and real. And I wouldn't, you know, because when I found out what it really was about, I was like, oh, man, I've been played. <laughs> That's what I see. I, I, all my life I wanted to be in. It's nothing but Satan worship. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And they're pulling our kids in. Everybody want to get in. And, and no, hold on. Let me, let me end this with this. When Jesus came on this earth, he said he made himself of no reputation. Then why is it that Christians want to go be a star? The only time it is talking about a star in the Bible was Lucifer, the fall of the morning star. Now, that don't tell you nothing. You ain't real or you just don't want to hear it. You know, and you don't bash the people that are deceived because they don't know who they are. And I was one of them too. Because when you don't know who you are, then yeah, you're trying to be a star and everything else because you want people to look at you and say that you're great. I'm great. But when you find Jesus Christ for real, hallelujah, you understand that I am nothing and I'm humble. Because you could have let me die. You could have did this. You could have allowed this. I just thank you, Lord. You start worshiping for real. And it ain't even about you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This stuff real. Now that's worship. Worshiping the king. Hallelujah. There's only one. Hallelujah. Okay, I got to get up out of here. We got to get, get to class. God bless you. God keep you. I don't get on here for nothing. Y'all know, I, and I'm too busy just to get up on here to be seen like a star. The devil is alive. And, and when people be trying to, oh, Deanna, oh, Apostle, you so great. I don't know if they know this. I get completely away from them. They had one lady. I ain't going to say her name. Oh, you're the best. I said, quit texting me that. Hallelujah. Don't, don't be trying to pump me up. Get me in trouble with God. The devil is a liar. I am a servant. And that is all. Hallelujah. Okay, I got to get about here. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, be like it. Mm, let's do this. All right, now, y'all. We got what? 12 more days to go after the day. We could do this, right? We got this. We got this. God bless. I love you all. And I don't have to know you to love you. Y'all know I'm silly, right? <laughs> God bless. Y'all have a blessed one.